local airport. Um, the suitcases are right there because we are going to Alicante. Cheers, I got myself an orange juice to get the vitamins in. And I'm going with my grandpa again and with mommy. Are you excited, Bumbo? through security guys and look at these miffies look how adorable guys oh my goodness and this one oh and the big ones up there oh my goodness too cute and of course my pre-travel ritual spritzing on a perfume so i'm going for hypnotic poison by dior oh guys this smells so Heavenly. I actually like the Eau de Parfum more, but this one is also really nice. This is the Eau de Toilette and some Chanel Bleu, obviously, uh, and that one on my wrist. Got some food for me and grandpa, a fruit salad, water, two sandwiches, and oh my god, I'm so excited! I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's literally snowing. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, it's not picking up on camera as well, but can you guys see that? That's insane. Okay, with my iPhone, you could see the snow a little bit better, so I insert the footage right here. Uh, but in Alicante, supposedly, it's going to be 24 degrees, so what a change in weather. I can't wait to feel the sunshine on my face again. And now walking to Grandpa and Pomi, who are waiting for me. Sandwich with mozzarella and pesto. And some delicious fruits as my dessert. We finally made it into the airplane and it's so cool that there's even ice on the windows. Like, this weather is so crazy here. I didn't even know that it would snow this hard. Um, but look at this crazy. And there's another airplane. Can you guys see that? I think I've fallen for you. I don't know why, I don't know why You love the summer rain In mid-July, mid-July My last name fits you better When I'm with you there's no pressure I miss your worn out sweaters Weather couldn't compromise our love I spent too much time on us and I think you got me stuck on loving you We have arrived in the apartment, guys! Did you guys miss this amazing view? I already hung up some of my clothes and these boots, guys. Oh my god, look at these ones. They are new and I'm so obsessed with them. Good morning my loves and welcome back to a brand new day here in Alicante. I hope you can hear me because it's a little bit windy but I just woke up. I walked Pomi for a bit on the beach and now I left him with grandpa uh, because I needed to make some pictures. I have my tripod set up right here and look at this gorgeous view. I'm wearing this super cute Lakers outfit with my bag obviously like this is such a vibe and then of course with my cowboy boots now that i'm done with the pictures by the way you can see the end results on my instagram um i think i'm going for a quick grocery store run because we need some small things like water etc and then um i think we're off to the city i'm so excited it's such a beautiful day and um yeah i really really hungry so i can't wait for breakfast we made it to the city guys and we're now at our favorite spot ever and that is of course samoa if you've watched our previous alicante vlogs then you know that we always used to go here and it's like the best spot near the harbor area so that's really nice and that's the advantage of going somewhere multiple times because sometimes i get comments saying you know why do you always go to spain um 
Well, first of all, obviously, because I love Spain. Um, it's my favorite country in the whole white world just because of the people and the food and the ocean, the sunshine, of course, but also because it is so close by for me. Like, it is a two hour and 15 minute plane ride. That's insane, right? But for example, if you live in the US or you live in another big country like Australia, then that is the flight time within your country. And for me, it's like a completely different world from the snowy Netherlands. So, um, yeah, uh, that's why I always go here and obviously also because of Pomi uh, because we travel with him two hours or like I would say three hours is the max for him to be in his carry-on otherwise it's just a little bit uncomfortable so um, yeah that's the reason why we always go here and when you go somewhere multiple times then you know which spots are good and uh, searching for good spots to eat can also sometimes take such a long time but now we have discovered like the best spot in my opinion because look at this food oh my goodness first of all toast with avocado and tomato and burrata and then this is a mocktail this is la vie en rose um, this is with jasmine water and rose water and then cheesecake um, I'm looking forward to this one the most obviously because look how great this looks insane and Pumi is also enjoying himself so cute I'm in the cutest little store and of course I spotted a Hello Kitty item oh my god my heart every time I see Hello Kitty I'm like oh my gosh and this was so unexpected as well because it's like this touristy shop but look how cute this is just straight up adorable look at this it's like this stainless steel water bottle oh my goodness and they have more of this Hello Kitty and Pusheen collection even a cool bag this is so useful to put like your drinks inside when you want to keep them cool for the beach oh my gosh this is so adorable look at it windy but it is a brand new day and we are on the beach for a breakfast it's a little bit cloudy but still really nice to be here because look at this view so gorgeous and it is time for breakfast toast with tomato and avocado and a tuna salad and of course orange juice it is a little bit later and the weather has improved so much guys uh, at least that's what it looks like from the windows here it seems a little bit more sunny a little less windy so i hope it stays that way um and we are off to the city right now um to you know shop a little bit i bought this cream for my grandpa the other day that he really enjoys so probably gonna repurchase that so he can stock up he's just like me like we always stock up on skincare if we find something that we really like like you guys know my skincare cabinet at home is like crazy and my grandpa is the same so i guess it's in the family and i'm wearing this super cute dress by the way um let me show you guys the full look this is what the dress looks like guys it's so super cute it's from fashion nova if you guys saw my recent haul then you know that I got this and it's so cute and florally uh, but obviously I'm gonna wear my Sandro coat on top of it um, because yeah the weather is still gonna be a little bit unpredictable I think today and tomorrow are like the most cloudy days and then after that it's going to be 25 degrees with full sun so I'm looking forward to that a lot but uh, for now let's put on my favorite coat and of course my favorite bag and by the way this pouch is so super useful um it's personalized obviously with my initials but it comes in so handy like i always uh, bring a lots and lots of pouches with me whenever i'm going somewhere just because it's so convenient because in this cute little pouch i always bring my phones um and then obviously masks because 
you know, sometimes you still need that in public spaces, um, especially when people are coughing or you just feel like it's too crowded. Um, then my sunglasses, I'm bringing these brown ones with me. Let me actually put them in my hair. I think that looks cute. I also wore these this morning just in case the sun will come out like properly. Um, then I also have a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. It's wash those paws with a little doggy and it smells a little bit like orange. It's a very refreshing scent and because it's orange it matches this perfectly. And then obviously my mirror and this lipstick that I'm wearing currently. Um, this is the Becca lipstick and it's in color C petal um, and that's everything that goes into this pouch now let's go to the city we made it to the city guys and look how gorgeous it is on the square here um, I have my tea this is pure bliss look how gorgeous this building is you guys Look at those doors and then of course the clock right there. Wow. This door, guys, once again, I'm obsessed with this. Look at that beautiful color and then all these designs. Wow. So my grandpa and I hadn't been to this square before at all, but then all of a sudden we arrived here in the city and I was like, whoa, what is this building? So it's actually currently the city hall of Alicante and um, it is all in Baroque style. It was finished in the 18th century and it's so cool to see new things um, in places where you've already been a lot. Like we've been to this part of the city a couple of times and this is the first time I'm actually noticing this square, but it's actually really nice. We're sitting at this super cute little cafe, uh, just enjoying ourselves. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do some shopping afterwards. But first, let's enjoy this gorgeous view. And then right here we have the Santa Maria Basilic. So beautiful. Look at this, guys. Look at the architecture. All those statues. Wow. This is insane. A little history day today. Wow. It's so nice seeing all these cultural sites. It's so gorgeous. I totally recommend you to visit this area of Alicante. It's so impressive. Can I film you? Is this traditional? Uh, traditional, yes. Wow, you look so pretty. Wow, look, she's dressed in traditional clothing. Can you tell a little bit about it? Oh, uh, it's a typical dress here in Alicante. Yeah, it's so pretty. Uh, the, the festivity is in June. Yes. The 24th uh, of June. Uh, and the party called here, the uh, bonfire. Oh wow, it's oh my goodness guys, that girl was so adorable. Uh, I don't know if you guys could hear it very well. Obviously she was also a little shy in front of the camera, but I asked her, um, can I please film you? You look so beautiful. And then they explained to me it's traditional clothing. They were doing this little photo shoot. Such a cute moment. I got my grandpa's favorite hand cream. It's this like super simple one, but he loves this one so, so much. And now I'm on my way to Taco Bell to get a little snack. Last time I was here, it was in the States. And actually I had an awful experience because it was the worst meal I've ever had. But I think I just like picked the wrong thing. Uh, I picked like a quesadilla and the cheese. I don't know, there was something wrong with it for sure. It was also like 40 degrees in San Francisco. So maybe that had something to do with it, but I'm really craving Mexican food. So um, I just want to see if this Taco Bell is better than the experience I've had before. It's not that hard to beat because it was literally the worst ever. So um, yeah, just, just a tiny snack for me and my grandpa. Let's see. Okay, let's put it in English, guys. We do take out maybe a burrito bowl, guys. Uh, with guacamole with spicy chicken. 
Okay guys, Taco Bell verdict. It was really good, like better than expected. And I hope you guys can hear me because uh, something that I did want to tell you is that there's a lot of construction going on currently in Alicante. So that's something to keep in mind when you want to go here because like the whole city has been broken up. And so that's kind of a shame if you want to go here because then it's not as peaceful and relaxing and also some of the restaurants and their terraces are closed because of it. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit different from the last time that we were here um, because they did do some adjustments around the harbor area but it wasn't nearly as bad as it is right now like literally everywhere um, they are rebuilding things they are repairing streets uh, building whole new buildings so uh, yeah that's a little uh, disappointing but besides that this is already such an amazing holiday and we're really lucky that the weather finally changed a little bit because this morning it was so cold but now as you might be able to tell, I've got some sunlight on my face. I can already see some glimpses of the golden hour. There, can you guys see that? The Melia Hotel and the sunshine on the top floors. Those people are so lucky that have their balconies facing this way. They can get some evening sun, which is the best. And now we are on our way to Albufereta again because we're going home. Do you guys also do that whenever you are in an apartment or in a hotel abroad then you immediately start calling it home even though obviously it's not your home but it feels like it you know even if it's just for the week that's my home now Good morning my loves, today is such a beautiful day. So this morning it was super windy, like windy is actually an understatement. There was a huge storm going on. So we didn't go outside and we waited till like 12. Uh, and then as you guys saw, we just had breakfast and I have been riding in my Law of Assumption Manifest with Persis Diary. Um, this journal is so amazing and I am on this 90 day uh, challenge um, You will get a whole separate video about it like a dedicated video But that is just so beautiful to do especially in the morning especially on the beach like this um, So yeah, that was the first thing that I did after breakfast I also shot some pictures as you guys could see in my bikini and in this cute little cover-up This is from Fashion Nova and these boots guys These boots are also from Fashion Nova and look at the butterflies I even have butterflies tattooed so you guys know um, Butterflies mean the world to me and you know for me they also correspond with Manifestation because they're part of my manifesting tattoo and I feel like butterflies it's for new change new beginnings um, so yeah, I, I really am digging the fits today. It fits the vibe, it fits the mood of the day. And although, yeah, it's a little bit windy still, this is the best day we've had so far uh, weather-wise. And the ocean looks so good. Look at this, guys. Isn't that paradise? And look at those cute people walking on the beach. This is the good life. Guys, this is a moment of pure bliss. Um, this is my view, like look at that sunset. And I have Oreo ice cream, my favorite. Mm, this is the best ice cream in the whole white world as an Oreo lover. Mm, so good. And look at the view of where my sparkly bikini because I had to make a pic with my Oreo with my best friend. Oh my gosh, guys, I wish we could share this together. Mm. 
so good life is good and that concludes part one of my ali kanta vlogs part two will be live this upcoming friday so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on anything and also follow me on tiktok and instagram for more holiday content